This is my uh, 16 inch Genie Shaper. I got this thing all cleaned out. Got it uh, back then. I thought I had the thing fixed, but I don't. The, uh, I'm not sure what to do with the snap ring now. This thing was leaking a bunch of oil out the pulley. And it was dripping out in the floor right here in the pan down here below. And uh, I was trying to. Uh, I knew I had to take it apart and see what's going on. And I downloaded the uh, print at uh, vintagemachinery.com. Okay. And there's, there's the print. Shows right here. This is what I got off their website. And there's this piece right here. There's a snap ring down inside this thing. It was, this thing was murdered to figure out how to get apart. Uh, where did that snap ring go to? It's, it's, it's a, uh, a special snap ring. It's one of those, uh, oh, where did it go? Been a while since I've been over here. It's a uh, spiral snap ring. In other words, it's it goes around twice and you can actually bend it with your fingernail. But this piece right here, this part right here, it goes inside of here. It's kind of heavy. And it goes all the way down inside that machine. All the way on the inside. And before you can take this this uh, pulley off of here to replace these uh, this big seal here goes right here. There's another big seal that I just do with it. There's two great big two great big seals in this thing. I swear I just had it. Oh here, right here. This great big seal here goes touches rubs on this. And that's what was bad. These seals were all dried up and cracked up and everything. But to get this thing apart, it was it was like I said, it was a real brain teaser. There's two set screws in here that you uh, take out. Those are they they've got you need to loosen those up so you can unscrew this thing off of there. But down inside that machine, down inside the hole there. You can't see this. Down inside of here, you can't see nothing. There's no point in putting a camera in there because you can't see it. You, it's down in the back in this way inside of here that you've got to get that snap ring off the end of this part right here so you can pull it out. And I want to make an... Uh, I'd like to figure out what to do with that snap ring now. I know it's laying around here someplace. A friend of mine was over here the other day and I showed it to him. There's the uh, seals. Don't go on burn out and lose the snap ring. That wouldn't be good. I look right over here. This is the spare seal there. There's my 30,000 mig wire. Son of a gun, I knew I put it someplace. I knew it. I knew I could. Wow. Oh. Well, oh, that seal went to you. I mean, that snap ring went to you. Head gummit. Uh, anyway, I had that mirror, the mirror down inside there trying to figure, but it still wouldn't do you any good. Because you only stick one arm down inside there and see what's going on. What I finally want to do is took this little rod right here. This is actually a, it's a bolt that holds an electric motor together I had laying around. And I took in the ground like a screwdriver on the end of it. And I was able to stick that thing. I can't believe I can't find the snapper ring. Right I better find it. I need that. Um, <laughs> let me pull this back out of here once. <sighs> this has got a keyway on it right here. And I was able to stick this thing here in the snap ring groove. And as I turned this thing, it would raise that snap ring up. And I was able to get that first edge of that snap ring. Started off the edge and I could just kind of peel it off all around. But if you don't know how to get this thing apart, I mean, it's a, it's a doggone it. There's no, there's no book tells you how to get it apart, nothing. It's a real nightmare, but it just, in this, in this area, I spent a few hours just trying to get that little snap ring off there because it's, I said there's just barely room enough for one hand to be down inside there. It's tough. It's really tough. Right. I gotta find my snap ring now. This is gonna drive me crazy if I don't find it. Anywho, but I wanted to 
create a video and show us everybody uh, what it takes to get this doggone thing apart. Because there's the pouring oil out here on the floor and everything. And I'm going to put it together, but I'm not going to do it tonight. i got some other stuff i got to do. But I wanted to make a video in case somebody else is out there who's got one of these shapers. And it's, this is this is the newer, newer design. There was two different ones on uh, Vintage Machinery that showed there. And this was the newest design of the thing. And the older ones, I guess they don't have these like this. And they're, they're the grease fitting right here. I'm, I'm not... I'm thinking these bearings need to be greased. I'm not sure, but because it, it's sealed here and sealed here, so I don't know how this would ever get any oil to it. So I'm thinking these bearings should be running with the 90 weight, I mean, with rather grease on them. That's what I'm going to put it locked together with. But yeah, i got to find that snap ring. That's bugging the heck out of me now. Huh, let me look right up there. It's been a while since I've been over because my dad died and... And then my sister died, and I had to wind up going down to get a bunch of stuff from my dad's house. And this thing kind of got put on hold temporarily. And I've lost my snap ring. Oh my god. I'll find it. It's here someplace. I just haven't run across it yet. But anyway, yeah, I want to make a little quick video. Let me, I'll get the camera, I'll point it down in there. And you can kind of get an idea. It's. It's tough, man. I mean, it, there's not a lot of room down inside of here to uh, sitting there on that five gallon bucket I'm trying to get myself down low enough to the ground. I take this, this thing off the tripod here. Put snap rings in the parts washer here, but I don't know. I'm not going to sleep tonight until I find that. Let me, uh, get this camera off this tripod and I'll take it down and point it down inside that machine so you can see what I'm talking about. Get the tripod out of the way now. I can walk by here. The shaper's kind of shoved back out of the way so I have some room for some other stuff. And see, you can see that, that, oh, where's it at? Okay. Not real good lighting in there. That small shaft with that gear on it. There's another shaft. No, no, it's a big shaft in the back back there. That big shaft in the back back there. Okay. Way down inside, see those oil lines? That's where that the snap ring goes. It goes way back there. And the reason why they built the thing this way is so there's there's a gear. Let me see if I can pull that gear out down inside there once. Hold on. Where'd the gear go? Yeah, you can't see the gear. It's clunking around and down inside the there. There, the, the, there's a gear. I don't know if you can see it down inside the there or not, and you can't even see it. See what I mean? This is tough, man. There's a gear. Them two copper lines, and back down inside the there's a gear. And what the gear does is it drives whenever you turn the shaper on. And this pulley out here is spinning. Okay, it's also turning this this big part. This is where the gear goes, and that's what the, the snap ring holds the gear on. Well, as this big pulley out here, this big pulley out here is spinning, what it's doing is it's going bringing power inside there, and all it's doing is driving the oil pump. So the the machine's always got oil, you know, pumping to it every time whenever that pulley is moving, it's pumping oil. That's what it is. Uh, that's what that's why they built it the way they built it. But it's a nightmare. If you don't know what you're doing, it's 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 a, it's a bloody nightmare. Anyway, I want to put make this video and I'll put it out there on YouTube and land and see if anybody else you know got any kind of shapers and this is this is yeah. Wow, I gotta I gotta fix this right here too. There's this seal is worn into here a little bit. I'm gonna polish that up a little bit and see if I can get that you know so it doesn't mess the new seal up. The big one don't seem to be too messed up. The, the ceiling service on it don't seem to be too messed up. Not at all. But this little one right here has got like a groove war in right here. Where the seal is running on it. I don't know why that one did and the other one didn't. But yeah. Pretty wild. So I get some time again. I'm going to put this thing, if I find the snapper ring, I'm going to put this thing back together and maybe we can see the thing running and make some chips again. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for your time. This uh the the big pulley right there, okay, it's got 
see those, all those bolt holes around the outside right there that's that those bolts go through that other part looks like the giant mushroom the thing over there on the, on the floor over here that's got the rag sitting on top of it right now with the part where the snap burn goes on I showed you well you take all those bolts out of there and then there's a gasket right on that face of that thing right there that uh, it seals on this on the surface uh, see the light seal right here all around the bolts of that well that's the part you and then this part right here okay this ring on here where the seal goes on here that is actually a that that round thing is actually a nut okay and lighting's terrible here I'm sorry about that but this this big thing right here is actually your nut it's the one bearings one bearings in the pulley right now one bearings in that pulley right there you can see a Timken roller bearing inside that pulley okay one bearings in there one bearing still still on here the big bearings on here so the other bearing rides on this rides on this surface right here this is the nut that draws the two bearings together and these I got this this thing's actually turned around it should go the other way okay this actually should go the other way and there's like a if you look inside of here they've got they machined this out right right here and they put another piece of metal in there and it's and it's uh it's also threaded okay so that when you tighten that set screw up right there it push it pushes down and binds on the thread so to keep the thing from unscrewing so before you try to unscrew this big nut on here that goes on here which holds the bearings together you want to unloosen these two allen screws up get started on there again hard to do with one hand anyway it screws on there and then you tighten the allen screws up when to lock it in place to lock it in place but the, uh, I managed to get that gear pulled out of, down inside there, and I'm going to shine a light down inside there, and we're going to get a picture. You'll see what I'm talking about down inside there now. Let's see if we can get the camera lens back right there. See that gear? It's laying right there on that shaft. It's on that shaft right there. Well, that you can, it pulls off by hand, but then that, uh, let me see if I can zoom in on the thing a little bit. There's that snap ring I'm telling you about right there. There's a washer and a snap ring. They're stuck together right now. That's why I couldn't find the snap ring because I don't know what I was thinking. It's, it's still around the shaft right there where the gear's at. But that gear right now is it's just, it's just flipping on that shaft because it's got a, the holes bigger. It, it's uh, it goes on this other part that slides in and the gear slides on the washer. Then you put the snap ring back on there. But first, first you got to put your your pulleys. You've got to put your pulley together. Okay, and you put it on there and tighten this nut up, and then you put that big other mushroom like thing that slides in there with any the gasket service on it. It's, it's got to be all cleaned up so that, that that creates a seal around there, and then that goes in the inside there. And you got to get that snap that gear back on the washer and then the snap ring, and you, and you put the clutch back together. But yeah, I just wanted to, I want you to be able to see that uh, the gear and the snap ring I was talking about. I didn't lose the snap ring. You couldn't lose it because it because you can't get it off the shaft without you know bending it up too much. It's just laying, it's wiggling around. And, but you can't get your hand down inside there. That's the, that's the problem. I mean, it's just barely. I mean, your, your hands rubbing them oil lines and stuff, trying to get down in there. And then it's just enough for your your wrist. I mean, I don't know how I'm gonna get this thing back together. It's gonna be tough, but it's gonna it's gonna take me a while. I'll get it, but it's tough. So if anybody's got one of these newer style GNE shapers and trying to figure out why their pulleys are leaking, how what they got to do to fix it, this is what they got to do, and it's a uh, good luck because it's a lot of fun.